It's time for the Fast Break Basketball Show with your hosts, Wes Cusswood and Ben Davis. Welcome to the Fast Break Basketball Show. I am your host, Beth Davis. Well, it was triple header action here at the Geelong Arena on Saturday night as the Youth League One men took on the Hume City Broncos, followed by the NBL One South double header, the men and the women taking on the Keel or Thunder. It was the Youth League men up first and they had a very close win over the Hume City Broncos. And after the game, I caught up with Bailey Bruce. Well, I'm here with Bailey Bruce from the Nivexa Geelong United Youth League One men's team after a brilliant three-point win over the Hume City Broncos. Bailey, a great effort by the team. You guys were down by one point at halftime but had a really great third quarter and managed to pull out uh, the three-point win in a really close game. Yeah, it was good. Our defence intensity was so good. After coming out of halftime, I think we lifted that and then that led to offensive shots and yeah we got open hit some threes I mean yeah they hit some tough shots but yeah we played well. Now you had a really great first half yourself you had 21 points at half time finished with 26 for the game yeah. and then in the second half Marach Marach really took over as well a couple of really exciting yeah. dunks for the crowd as well uh, but you yourself had a great game 26 points you've had a great season with the youth league team this year how are you finding it with your first year with the youth league team? Yeah it's really good all the boys are supporting me um, getting me open for good looks um, yeah and Marach getting some dunks getting the bench up and about it was really good. Well, congratulations on a fantastic win, Bailey, and best of luck tomorrow against Wyndham. Thank you. Well, a fantastic three-point win by the Youth League men over the Hume City Broncos on Saturday night. Let's take a look at the rest of the Big V Youth League results from both the men and the women over the weekend. Well, after a close three-point win over Hume City on Saturday night, the Youth League men lost by four points to Wyndham on Sunday afternoon. Bailey Bruce finishing with 27.6 rebounds, Marach Marach 16 points, 8 rebounds, and Max Alakas 14.7 rebounds. And with only one game left in the season, the Youth League men are currently sitting fifth on the ladder. So this final game for them is all important as the top four in the Youth League one will compete to be moved up into Victorian Youth Championship Division in 2024. So high stakes for the boys this weekend as they take on the Sherbrooke Suns on Sunday afternoon at the Geelong Arena. For our Youth League women, it was just the one game on Sunday afternoon against Wyndham. The girls going down 71-89. to 89. Miley Dawkins contributing 24 points and 4 rebounds off the bench. Kayla Blasco a double-double with 17 points and 11 rebounds. Vanessa Marsh finished with 9 points and 10 rebounds. The Youth League 1 women are currently 10th on the ladder with a 4-17 record and for them they may be looking to be relegated to Youth League 2 next year with that Big V qualification series. The bottom four teams will compete against the top four teams in Youth League 2 in a tournament next February to determine which teams will be promoted and which will be relegated. The Youth League 1 women also have one final game this coming Sunday at the Geelong Arena against Warrandyte Venom. Well, it was a close victory by the NBL One South Hoop City Geelong United Supercats women getting a four-point win over the Keel or Thunder as they push towards finals next week. Chantelle Horvat finished with a double-double and after the game, I caught up with her and coach Matthew Payton as well as Ella Tofayono to chat about the game. Well, I'm here with the head coach of the Hoop City Geelong United Supercats women's team, Matthew Payton. Matt, a great four-point win over Keelor tonight, one that you guys needed and not, the job's not done. You've got to get another win against Waverley tomorrow. But you guys were up by as much as 16 and let them get back into the game a little bit towards the end of the, the game there. Still pulling out the win, but probably not what you're looking for coming into finals. Yeah, it's uh, from a results point of view. Um, I think it's one of those things where we got what we needed out of it. Um, but we've got to be better than that if we want to make any kind of impression in the final series. So, um, you know, pleased that we got the result and we didn't let that, um, yeah, like we said last week, like again, the Ballarat game, playing teams that, uh, that don't have a future after the, after the regular season is dangerous because you have a tendency sometimes to take the foot off the gas. But um, yeah, we, uh, we've got some reflecting to do and not a lot of time to do it because um, there'll be a red hot Waverley waiting for us tomorrow. Well, I should say, Waverley tomorrow, and again, the, the position on the ladder does depend on some other results going your way as well, but still an opportunity to finish top four. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, it's, I would say it would only be a matter of time for us to be able to get that chemistry and click. You know, we have, haven't had all that many games together as a full roster, and having, um, you know, uh, Ella, Chantel, and uh, Monica all 
able to play at the same time has been a rarity, but um, it's, it's a good problem to have as a coach. Uh, but in saying that, you know, we, we just need to make sure that we're, um, you know, continuing to build. Um, we won't harp on too many negatives today. Like, you know, we, we, we got the result we needed to. As you said, some of it's out of our control. Um, so our, our biggest focus is on our next 40 minutes of basketball and then, you know, let the cards fall where they may. Well, Matt, congratulations on the win tonight and best of luck against Waverley tomorrow. Thanks, Beth. Appreciate it. Well, I'm here with Chantelle Horvat from the Hoop City Geelong United Supercats after a four-point win over the Keelor Thunder. Chantelle, you finished with another double-double tonight, and again, you guys got the win, but probably not the game you were hoping for. You guys were up by as much as 16 and did let them back into the game. What will you guys be focusing on after tonight's game to try and get the win over Waverley tomorrow? I think we're definitely going to look back at that game and say we need to focus on our defence, stopping them from scoring, which will hopefully lead to easy buckets for us. And it's going into finals time. Everybody wants to play their best basketball right now and try and knock off the top teams. So we just have to come to every game, treat every team the same, prepare the same, and play hard every second we go out there. And I'm sure we'll bounce back tomorrow and hopefully get another great win. Well, it is your third game back with Geelong after spending some time in Sydney at the FIBA Asia Cup, a bronze medal with the Australian Opals. Talk to me a little bit about that experience and what that was like for you, winning a bronze medal with the Australian Opals. That was the coolest experience ever. Obviously, it was something that I've dreamt about since I was a little girl. So finally getting to put on the green and gold in the senior team, like, it gets me choked up. I'm starting to cry now. Like, I still get so emotional about it, even though it's already happened. Um, yeah, it just means so much to me and it was such a phenomenal experience that I'll cherish forever. And talk to me a little bit about the game against Japan because your teammate Monica Okoye was in that team and of course Monica won a silver medal with Japan. Japan getting the best of Australia in the game you played against them. But was that just a fun experience being able to match up against her as well? Yes, despite the loss. <laughs> it, was, it was really fun getting to match up against Mon. Mon did really well that game as well. She shut the lights out played really hard and it was just cool to play against Japan like it's a different style of play to how we play and it was really cool to see that showcased on a big, big stage um, but yeah it was really great. Well Chantel thanks for chatting with us and best of luck against Waverly tomorrow. Thank you, thank you. Well I'm here with Ella Tofayono from the Hoop City Geelong United Supercats after the four point win over the Keelor Thunder here at the Geelong Arena. Ella, congratulations on the win. Are you guys, uh, the job isn't done yet. You do have to face Waverley tomorrow, but how are you guys feeling about your push for finals after tonight's game? I think we learned a lot about ourselves, especially down the stretch. Keeler was kind of catching up, and so it's kind of like we weren't really playing Geelong basketball, and we all, like, you know, took accountability of that. And so it's a, it's a good thing about finals and good thing about this time of the year is, like, we have another chance tomorrow to improve and then get ready for next week. So looking forward to it. Well, again, the game against Waverley tomorrow, if you guys can get the win, you are still pushing for a top four spot depending on some other results. But regardless, it looks like you guys will get a home final here at the Geelong Arena. So what do you want to say to all the fans out there about coming out to support the women's team? The men's team aren't in it, but the women's team are in finals. So what can we say to encourage everyone to come down and support the women's game? Absolutely come out next Saturday at 7 p.m. to watch some great fundamental women's basketball. I I mean, this is a great arena, so we want to fill it up. And so I feel like everyone here in Geelong should be here. So, yeah, great opportunity to show some good basketball. Well, congratulations on the win. Best of luck tomorrow. And as you said, we will see you in finals here at the Geelong Arena. Awesome. Well, it was the final game for the Hoop City Geelong United Supercats men on the home court here as they missed out on finals this year. The first time since 1997 that the men's team has missed out on finals. But it was a great way to go out, a big 116 to 85 win over the Keelor Thunder. Gabe Hadley, recent Brisbane Bullets contract announced, finished with 43 points for the game, and Demarcus Gatlin had a triple-double. After the game, I caught up with head coach Grant Wallace, as well as Gabe Hadley and Matt McCarthy to chat about the game. Well, I'm here with the head coach of the Hoop City Geelong United Supercats men's team, Grant Wallace. Grant, congratulations, a big win over Keelor tonight. A nice way to finish out the season right here at the Geelong Arena home floor. Yeah, our last home game. Um, we obviously felt pretty disappointed during the week with the uh, finals no longer, and the boys wanted owed it to this crowd to give us a nice performance, and uh, yeah, we're happy with the win. We're still disappointed, a bit of like a fraud act almost, that uh, we can play that well and miss out on finals. Um, but I was really happy about like long term, all the young players contributing. You could see the growth over the course of the year with them. Um, I mean, you're not going to lose too many games when Gabe's shooting like that and Demarcus is playing D and distributing with a triple-double. So, great, 
team performance. Well, let's just say it, it is obviously very disappointing for the team to miss out on finals, but when the pressure's off, it, it just looked like the guys were having fun out there tonight. It's a bit of our motto during the week. Um, I just finish off with two wins. Enjoy your basketball, enjoy each other's company. Oop because uh, we're just not sure who will be around here next year. Um, we've laid some foundations for success that we think will be good. Uh, so it's just a matter of working on all those and finishing off on a high, because before you know it, we'll be back playing 2024. Absolutely, and as you say, it was finishing off on a high here at the Geelong Arena. There's still another game tomorrow, but what a performance to go out with tonight. 43 points from Gabe Hadley, and he's been picked up by the Brisbane Bullets, which is fantastic for him and for the program as well. Great for the program, great for Gabe's work ethic to be rewarded with that. Um, I thought George was fantastic tonight too, he was a bit of an unsung hero with his figures. Um, and it's a shame that he can't get an NBL contract as well at the moment, but performances like that and his improvement over the course of the year have been great. DeMarcus was just fantastic leadership on and off the floor throughout the course of the year. Um, McCarthy I thought was good. Yeah, we just, it was good to have the ball shared around and work tonight, so it's an enjoy to coach. Well, congratulations on a fantastic win and best of luck against Waverley tomorrow. Thank you. Thanks for all your help and support during the year and to the supporters as well. Thank you very much for your support. It's been unbelievable the year. Uh, we just do feel like we let you all down, but uh, we'll be back bigger and better next year. Thanks, Grant. Well, I'm here with Gabe Hadley from the Hoop City Geelong United Supercats who went off for 43 points in the big win against Keel or Thunder tonight. Gabe, fantastic game. Great shooting by you tonight. Yeah, um, it's a great game. Got going in the very first quarter. I think that helped uh, pick our team up. Um, they were finding me uh, off the ball. We were moving the ball well. I got open shots and I made them tonight, so it was good. Well, they were certainly looking for you, of course, because once you catch fire, you catch fire. And so many triples, so many made baskets. But again, I want to chat to you a little bit about your contract with the Brisbane Bullets. Congratulations on getting that NBL contract. How are you feeling about that? When do you head up to Brisbane? Tell me a little bit about it. Yeah, good. I'm very excited. Um, I think that's got leaked out. We're not meant to announce until Monday, but um, I think the most everybody people, knows. Most people know by now. Um, I'll head up there next week. Preseason starts on the 24th. Um, so yeah, it's all go. Trying to trying to move out to Brisbane as quick as I can. Um, yeah, unfortunate to move away from Geelong. I love this place, but. I'm very, very excited to get uh, to Brisbane and start working out with the Bullets. To be well, Gabe, congratulations on a fantastic win tonight. Congratulations on your NBL contract, and we'll all be watching to see you in the NBL this season. But Thanks, great to have you here in Geelong, and uh, time to finish it off against awesome. Waverley tomorrow. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Finish it off against Waverley. Another hard game. They're in finals, so a tough team. We'll try and bring it. Thanks, awesome. Gabe. Thanks, man. Well, I'm here with Matt McCarthy from the Hoop City Geelong United Supercats after a 116-85 to win over Keel or Thunder. Matt, a great win by the team tonight and obviously disappointing not to make finals, but nice to finish on a high here at the Geelong Arena on your home court. Yeah, it was awesome. I think people would enjoy that game. Gabe was, could miss a shot and it was nice to not have a nail-biting game for once. So it was good to finish on, a, on that note. Well, it did seem like without the pressure on, you guys were just out there having a bit of fun with it and it showed on the scoreboard, but also in the play. As you say, Gabe was on fire. Plenty of dunks, plenty of entertainment, and lots for the crowd to come out and enjoy here tonight. Yeah, absolutely. I, the crowd here is always awesome. There's a million kids here. and Yeah, I think we played a lot more free tonight and maybe a little less pressure, and yeah, you can see it. Well, the job's not done, of course. You do have one final game against Waverley tomorrow. So what's the team going to be focusing on tomorrow? Obviously a great win tonight, but you do want to finish on a high and, and get a 2-0 and weekend. So what's going to be the focus tomorrow against Waverley? Absolutely. So bringing the same kind of thing, playing free, playing together, playing as a team. There was so many assists there. Like, God, how many assists did he have? So that kind of thing. And we really want to finish uh, with a 500 record, 11-11. So that's a big thing for us. So tomorrow is, is really important. Well, assists were big for DeMarcus tonight. He did finish with a triple-double, but I know that at halftime he was really pushing to get that triple-double. So he was looking for you guys under the basket. Yeah, he was. Finally, he passed. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> he deserved it. He's a great player for us, and you can see he contributes to the winning in so many different ways. You saw it tonight with the assists. So, yeah. Well, Matt, thanks for chatting with us, and best of luck against Waverley tomorrow. Thank you. Well, fantastic wins by both our men and women here at the Geelong Arena on Saturday night. Let's take a look at how they fared against Waverley in the road game on Sunday afternoon. Well, it did take an extra five minutes of play, but the Hoop City Geelong United Supercats women defeated the Waverley Falcons on Sunday afternoon, 75-66 to in overtime. 
The win means that the women finish third on the ladder with a 16-6 and six record and will face Mount Gambia in an away final this weekend. Now, if the girls win their game against Mount Gambia, they will head straight to the preliminary final on Saturday 5th of August, which will be at the Geelong Arena. But even if they lose, they have the double chance and will return to the arena on Saturday the 29th of July for a semi-final matchup. Looking at the men's game on Sunday afternoon as the boys closed out their season with a win over the Waverley Falcons 93-72. George Blagojevich finished with 30 points, 17 rebounds. Matt McCarthy, 26 points, 10 rebounds. Demarcus Gatlin, 6 points, 6 rebounds and 6 assists. Well, I'm here with the unsung hero of the Hoop City Geelong United, Supercats. It's Supercat! Great to see you here, Supercat! Now that was a fantastic win. We had three games here at the arena. Our Youth League men, our NBL One South women and our NBL One South men, all of them got the win. Tell me how good was the atmosphere here at the arena tonight? It was pretty special, pretty spectacular. What was your favorite moment of the men's game tonight? I think that was Demarcus Gatlin's big slam dunk and the crowd reaction to that. And tell me, Supercat, our men are unfortunately out of finals, but our women are in the finals. How do you reckon they're going to go next week in the finals? Number one. That's it, number one. Make sure you get out to support the women next week in the NBL One South Finals. Keep an eye on the Geelong United basketball page for all the information on tickets. And you can see Supercat here at the Geelong Arena. Well, that's it from the Fast Break Basketball Show for this week. But don't forget, our Hoop City Geelong United Supercats women are in the NBL One South Finals. And you can take a look below for all the details of the finals action coming up for them this weekend.